If you're looking for the best child's mountain bike on the market at the minute, the Ibea Laufey Junior is really hard to beat. It's a miniaturized version of the adult's mountain bike, the Ibea Laufey, which has loads of high-end componentry on it that is brilliant for a hardcore hardtail bike. And what the Ibea Laufey Junior range does is just a miniaturized version. It's, it ticks all the boxes in terms of what you'd want to see on a child's bike. Its weight is low, it's proportional to the rider, and lastly, it's just got some really high-end kit that you wouldn't normally expect on a child's bike. So the weight of the bike mainly comes down to a few key things. The frame, first of all, is aluminium, which is a lightweight material in itself. It's rare to see on a lot of child's bikes. Quite often they'll use steel, and it makes the bike weigh a ton. And it's really important that the bike's light because for pedaling uphill, obviously you don't want to discourage a child from riding uphill and you want to make it as easy as possible. It's also great in the descent because they can control the bike, they can maneuver it from side to side without it feeling too cumbersome. The Orbea Laufey Juniors, they don't only look at the, how the frame's constructed to keep the weight down and using the lightweight material, they also look at actually making custom parts on the bike to keep the weight down. For example, on the cranks, they're using aluminium for both the crank and the chain ring. The second thing that really makes the Orbea Alpha Junior stand out is the proportionality of the bike. So it doesn't matter which model you're looking at, it moves up in proportion to the expected size of the rider. So for example, these three models have dropper posts and they're just stepped up with each size. So you've got a 50 millimeter drop, a 75 millimeter drop, and a 100 millimeter drop. The brakes on the, on the handlebars, they're within easy reach for the smaller rider. And then the crank lengths are shorter as well, just to, just to make it a lot easier for the rider. And also the handlebar width, it tends to be, again, moving up in proportion right through the range. As you can see, the 27, they're expecting a much taller rider. You move it down to the to the entry level, uh, not entry level one, the 20 inch, sorry, and you're looking at a much shorter handlebar. And thirdly, the, the, the other thing that really does stand out is the componentry of the bike. It really does set it apart from the rest. Having a dropper post on a bike is great. You get to the bottom of the hill and you need to go back up it. You can quickly just press the button and bang straight back up, optimal pedaling position. And when you're looking at going down the hill, you keep your weight on the bike, the seat drops, and then you're in much more control on the descents. To see this on a child's bike is just fantastic. The other thing as well, they're dead up to date with sort of on trend, should we say, with things that are happening in the mountain bike world. You know, you still see children's mountain bikes with, you know, three chain rings on the front of the bike, but it's purely on point with what's happening in the mountain bike world at the minute. So you've got a single ring up front, You've got a relatively wide range of the bike. You've got a, a chain guide on the bike. So once it starts getting rough on the terrain and it starts getting bumpy, that's gonna help keep your chain on and, and keep your child pedaling. The other thing as well, wet conditions. We're talking sort of rainy, wet, horrible weather. You need some big solid brakes. You're not gonna find any adult mountain bike that doesn't have hydraulic disc brakes. And that's the same with the Oa Bale Alpha Junior. They all come with hydraulic disc brakes. So you've got super stopping power, uh, a nice big disc on it there, and it's gonna stop in all weather conditions. And that's something that your child is gonna feel more confident when they're riding the bike as well. The other thing you'll, you'll find on the Oa Bale Alpha Juniors is that the higher end models, they have air suspension forks, and then that'll just react to the terrain with them rather than some of the cheaper forks that just have a coil and don't have a lot of adjustment. So for size wise, all the charts and everything are on our website, but to give you a rough idea, you, you're talking for a size 20 inch wheel, age between four and seven, the 24 inch between six and nine, and the 27 just before you get to the adult range is between age eight and 14 years old. Here's a useful model comparison chart between the different models within the range. First up is the Orbea Alpha 20 inch, the 24 inch and the 27 inch. As you can see on the chart, 
Most of the bikes come with all the features such as mud fenders, single ring setup, the chain guide, hydraulic disc brakes, but there's a few of the higher end models within the range that come with additional features such as tubeless tyres, earth suspension up front and a dropper post. You can find out more information on our website mtbmonster.com and if you have any questions or queries please contact us.